Broughton is a family-owned South Florida business and a respected company. They install garage doors from Miami to Port St. Lucie, and they've been doing so since 1955. They've seen significant changes since Hurricane Andrew. One of the major changes that happened after Andrew was the impact testing that's required in Dayton Broward, and that's where they actually fire a 2x4 out of a cannon at the garage door or at a window or anything else on the, on the house that it has to withstand that impact. So they not only cycle the door for wind resistance, but they also test them for impact. Though all doors must now pass improved hurricane codes, there are still significant differences between models. Because we wanted to use this new addition as a place to stay in the event of hurricane, Broughton recommended and installed their strongest doors. The doors we installed on this home uh, is a Clopay Model 4400. This is um, their premium series garage door. It is an insulated steel door. It has a steel exterior and a steel interior. And these brace supports on the back of the garage door, too, are much stronger than that on previous models. Even the garage door openers are much improved. The garage door openers that we installed in this particular home are um, manufactured, ex again, exclusively for the heavier wind code doors that are required in South Florida. These units have a full horsepower motor on them. They are DC motor, which the advantage of a DC motor over an AC motor, which most electric operators are, is that the, it's not going to overheat. The other thing is that they're quieter. It's a much quieter operation than an AC motor. These particular operators, we also install the battery backup system on. This battery backup system will allow you to run the garage door for 30 cycles in the event of a power failure. So if we have a storm, like we've had in the past, and we lose power, your garage door operator will still work for up to 30 times after that storm with the power out. The lights will light up and you'll be able to get in your home. And so, these garage doors can offer you much greater protection. But Kirk Underwood, Broughton's service manager, explains that what is just as important may be the tracks that hold them and the way they're installed. Since Hurricane Andrew, they have done a few things to the tracks. Not only have they strengthened the gauge of the track to make it a thicker steel, they added more track brackets. But what's also very important that a lot of people are not aware of, if your bucks are not fastened to the wall up to code, it don't matter how strong your door is or how strong your tracks are or how many track brackets in, if this buck is not anchored to the wall properly, all that's going to be for naught because it'll pull the bucks right off the wall. So that's why it's, it's very important to go with someone that really knows what they're doing when it comes to installing a hurricane-approved garage door to bring everything up to code. Within a few hours after their arrival, Broughton's crew had both doors installed and up to code. It was that simple. This door, as you see it, is ready to go in, this, in the event of a hurricane. All the homeowner has to do is simply walk over and lock the door, and this door is completely up to hurricane code approval for 150 mile an hour winds. It's, it's what's known as a passive system. There's nothing else required for the homeowner to do. There's no vertical struts, there's no pins, there's no post, it's ready to go. It's that easy. Personally, I learned a lot during her time with us, but I asked Christy for a few tips about avoiding the yellow bandits, garage door companies that may be listed in the yellow pages, but may be unscrupulous in their business practices. There actually was an expose done on this. And there was um, where they set up a homeowner. They set up, they, all they did was break the spring. It was a brand new garage door and they broke the spring and they went through the yellow pages and they called out some of these yellow page bandits and they tried to replace parts on the door that didn't need replacing. They tried to replace them with parts that were for commercial doors, not for residential garage doors. And they ended up running up like seven and $800 service bills on garage doors that really you know, were in fine working order because they were taking advantage of the consumer. And unfortunately, you know, that happens. So it's, it's very important that you get a company that, that stands behind their products, that, that has integrity, that is licensed and insured, which means they follow the regulations of the state. They follow the regulations of their industry. By going with Broughton, we had none of those problems. Our garage doors were up to code, and it was now time to turn our attention back to the roof.